Hey guys, David from Sunday Sounds here. Today I want to show you how you can use Patch Builder inside of Sunday Keys for Ableton to easily create the layered worship patches that you need for your worship set. So we have Sunday Keys for Ableton open. It's connected to my MIDI controller. And the awesome thing about Sunday Keys for Ableton is that it doesn't require any expensive third-party plugins. Everything uh, that you need, all of these worship sounds, are already sampled in and contained within Sunday Keys. So we're gonna create a layered worship patch. And to do this, we're just gonna insert a new scene over here in the master scene area. And this is gonna create a new scene and then we'll be able to use this scene to copy and paste in the instruments that we want to be a part of it. So we've got this scene here and I'm gonna rename it New Song. All right, and then I'll drag it up above here. So once you've got the scene where you want it to be, then it's as simple as just choosing the instruments that you need inside of that scene and hitting copy and paste where you want them to go. So let's start off by finding piano sound. So I'll audition this balanced piano really quick. Um, I can try out as many as I want. And when you find one that you like, just select the clip, hit copy, and then select where you want it to go and hit paste. So now I've got this ready to go. And next let's find a pad sound. So I'm gonna try out this gentle pad. And again, there's lots of ready to play pad sounds. Just find one that works for you. So I'm gonna go with this rich synth pad, paste it right there. And then uh, let's do a lead sound. I really like this cheesecake lead, so I'm just gonna run with that. Paste that in. And then lastly, let's add in a synth bass sound. Let's hear how this sounds. A little bit bright, so we could bring down the cutoff here if we wanted to. That might be a little bit too resonant for this, so I'm going to grab the sub bass instead. Yeah, that's sitting really nice, so I'm going to copy and paste this right there. So now we've got these four instruments ready to go, and then the last thing that you need to do is just grab these clips labeled off and paste them where you don't need anything at all. So I'm gonna grab these really quickly here. And this just lets Ableton know that when you're changing to this patch that you don't want any instruments active on that track. And then after we do this, we can designate the tempo and the time signature of the patch if we want by just typing that in here over in the master scene. I'm not gonna worry about it for this video, but that's the way that you would tell Ableton what, uh, what tempo you needed this patch to be at. Okay, so now wherever we're at in the patch list, we can just select this layered patch like that. And then it's ready to play. And then if in the moment we decide that we need it to get a little bit bigger or we want to change something out, you can copy and paste over the top of a sound that you've already selected or you can add stuff in on top. So I'm gonna grab this big bright pad, paste it in there as well so things get a little bit brighter. So now that this layered patch is built, I can drag it up and down in my patch list, I can put it wherever I need, I can run it alongside tracks. It's totally flexible. If I decide I wanna swap the instruments out later, it's as simple as copying and pasting again. The patch builder feature in Sunday Keys for Ableton is a huge time saver because you don't have to do any complicated sound designing or programming behind the scenes. And this feature is one of my favorites inside of Sunday Keys for Ableton. But it's only a part of what makes Sunday Keys for Ableton the foundation of your worship keys rig. There's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to learn more about this Ableton template. Thanks for watching.